So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at how you can silently install Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. I had quite a few questions on my Win32 app deployment with Microsoft Intune, so I'm hoping it's gonna help a few of you out. Let's go ahead and dive in. So first things first, we need to go ahead and actually download the distribution for Adobe Acrobat Reader. So to be able to do this, I'm here under get.adobe.com forward slash reader forward slash enterprise. And from here, I can download the distribution that I need. So step one, I'm gonna select my operating system, which I'm gonna choose Windows 10. Next up is the language, which I'm gonna choose English. Of course, choose the things that make sense for you and your organization. Next up from the version, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the latest version. Now I'm gonna go and hit download now. And now that this has been downloaded, we can look to get this party started. So I'm gonna go ahead from Explorer and then come to my downloads file. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is just right click the executable that we just downloaded. Then I'm gonna to go to properties I'm just gonna unblock this file right now because we downloaded it from the internet. So we have our Adobe Acrobat Reader executable, but we wanna make some modifications to this. We wanna make some changes and we wanna deploy it using the MSI capabilities. So first things first is we need to extract it. And to be able to do that, we're gonna load up an admin command prompt. So I'm just gonna to go to start and then go to command prompt. And at this point, we're gonna do run as administrator. So with the admin command prompt open, the first thing we're gonna do is navigate to our folder. So I'm just gonna to go to CD here, then to my C users, Harry L, which is my user profile, and then downloads. We can of course see our file here. So we've got our Adobe Acrobat DC file. And now we wanna look at how do we extract this file. And luckily for us, it's a pretty easy process. So all we gotta do is go ahead and first of all, we put in the executable and then we're using hyphen SFX underscore O. And what this does is allows us to set our output folder. And you can see here that we're going to see users Harry L downloads, but now we're going into a new folder. We don't see the folder here in our Explorer, but we're creating a new folder called Acrobat Reader DC. And I absolutely recommend that you create a new folder here. Don't put it in with anything else. And at the end here with SFX underscore NE is that's allowing us to choose that we want to extract the file, but we don't want to go ahead and execute the installation of it. So at this point, we can just go ahead and hit enter. And now we can see that the files are starting to extract and the left hand side within our Explorer, we've now got a new folder and within here is gonna be all of our contents. So at this point, the extraction has been completed. So let's go ahead and dive into the folder that's just been built. And we can now see there's quite a few different things within this folder. So we have the setup.exe and we're gonna to continue to use this, but now we also have the power to use all the MSI files within this. So we have acro read.msi, it's the main installation. We then have our MSP file. So this will patch the MSI to the latest version that we downloaded. The other thing that's really important in here is we also have what we call the setup.ini. And here, this is where we can start adding some of the information and parameters we need to help us with the silent installation. So first of all, we can see that under product, it's already put in for us what's the MSI name. So it's a file for the MSI. And then also here we have the patch. So the patch again is what updates us to the latest file and that's the MSP file. So the setup.ini we're gonna be using a little bit later as well. We now wanna go ahead and look at the installation. So before I make any customizations, I'm gonna show you how this looks so you can see the before and after. So from our command prompt, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the Acrobat Reader DC file. And then from here, I'm just gonna do setup.exe. And first up, we're just gonna look at what parameters we can use. So a few things that are of, of note. So first of all, we got dash S all. So that's how we can make sure that everything is silent within our installation. We then have dash RS, which means that we can go ahead and suppress any of the reboots. But what's really neat in here at the bottom here is we have forward slash MSI. And what that allows us to do then is pipe in common MSI parameters that you might be used to for a lot of your installs. So for example, we could start using things like logging and so on and so forth. Let's do okay. 
And then what I'm going to do is bring in the installation example for this. So I could, for example, here just paste this in. And now what we're looking at is we've got setup.exe forward slash s all because I want to ensure that it is silent. And then I'm doing forward slash MSI. And then what we've got at the bottom here or the end is our ability to be able to have a log within our deployment. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and install it. So I'm just going to hit enter here. And this is going to go ahead and install Adobe Acrobat Reader. All right, so first of all, we can now see that Adobe Acrobat Reader DC has been installed. We could also go ahead and go to our C Windows logs. And we can see here that we have a log file. In my case, I've just called it Intune Adobe Acrobat Reader install. You can call it as you want, but I might be prepping this for an Intune deployment. But if we load this up, and we won't spend any time really in these logs, but what we can see, which is nice to see, is that our product has successfully installed for Adobe Acrobat Reader. So we've got the app installed. Let's go have a look at the user experience, because as I said earlier, we are going to want to make some customizations. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Start, and then from there, Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. And the first thing that you'll notice when we come into the application is it's already trying to ask us to accept a EULA. So let's note that down because we don't want our users to have to go ahead and go for accepting this every time we install the application. So I'm going to choose accept and you know, we'll just close down the tour for now. But the other thing that I'm going to change, because it's just so you can see something visual, is at the top right hand side here is it's trying to upsell us to Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. And we don't want all of our users to constantly be upselled to a different version, so we want to remove it. All right, we need to go ahead and uninstall the application. I'm going to show you a little bit of a trick here. Of course, we could uninstall it straight from add and remove programs. But a lot of you are going to ask, well, I need to uninstall it silently within Microsoft Intune or any other deployment tool that you might be using. So what I'm going to do here is inside the registry editor, you can see here I'm in HK Local Machine Software, WOW 64 32-no, because it's a 32-bit app that I installed, Microsoft Windows current version, uninstall, and then this is all my MSI information. This might be a little bit different for you depending what version that you've installed. But what's really interesting here is you can see the uninstall string. And what we can do is load that up and we can take that out and copy it. And if we then went to our command prompt and I pasted that in, what we could do then is you could start creating that uninstall string from here. So I'm going to use MSI exec dash X because that's for uninstall and then hit enter. Because I haven't put any silent switches to this, it's going to ask me if I want to do it. If you're trying to do this, obviously in a silent way, you would not do that. But I'm just going to do yes now, and this is going to uninstall the app. And we'll come back once it's uninstalled. All right, so we can now see that our application has successfully uninstalled. Let's go ahead and move to the next stage. So at this point, we know that we can install this silently if we need to. We know how to get some of the MSI parameters in there, but we want to make a few more customizations. And to be doing this, what we're going to do is I'm going to go back to the web browser and we're going to be using the Adobe Acrobat DC customization wizard. And of course, I'll put the link in the description so you can download this as well. But all we need to do here under the first kind of part of this installation wizard is just download the Windows version, assuming that you're on Windows. I am, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit open file. And at this point now, then let's just go through the really nice easy wizard to install this next, accept the agreement. Next again, install, and that's just going to install for us. And now that's installed, let's hit finish and go ahead and go to start. And then we're going to go to the Adobe Acrobat customization wizard. So now we're here. This is where we go ahead and make some changes. And at the end state of this is we're going to create what we call a transform file. That's going to have all the different customizations we want to make while installing the application. And that's also known as a MST file. So at this point, we're going to go to file and then we're going to go to open package. And in my world, because we can see it on the left hand side here in our Explorer, we want to go to C users, my username, downloads, Acrobat Reader DC, and we're going to load up the acro read.msi. That's what we extracted earlier on. So at this point, I'm going to choose open 
And now I can start making some changes. First of all, from the personalization options, I want to go ahead and suppress the display of the EULA. So I'm going to hit that for us. Next up, what I'm going to do here is go to the installation options and I'm going to make a few changes. Firstly, I want to make you know, Reader the default PDF viewer. I'm also going to change some of the installation experiences. So I want to make sure that it's silent, no interface while installing the app. And I also want to suppress all of the reboots so that people don't just randomly start rebooting when I install this maybe to hundreds or thousands of devices within an enterprise. The next thing I'm going to do is disable some of the upsells. But of course, there's plenty of different things you could do in here. For example, you could go to shortcuts and remove any desktop shortcuts, so on and so forth. I'm just going to leave this as default for now. But I am going to go to online services and features and then disable here, disable upsell. That's going to stop it from saying that, you know, do you want to try out Adobe Pro? We don't want to do that. So at this point, of course, as I said earlier, you can make any other customizations that make sense for your organization. Like you might want to disable some of these integration services, for example. But once you're ready, we now want to create that transform file, the MST file. And to do that, all you got to do is go to file and then just do save package. And what we can instantly see now on the left hand side is it's gone ahead and created an acro read.mst. So I'm going to close down the wizard here. And at this point, we're now pretty much ready to go. But I'm going to show you one last thing. If we go to setup.ini, now you can see that it started adding more information into this file. So it did forward slash s all for us and forward slash rs really interesting. So it's now doing some of those parameters because we made those customizations in the wizard. But what it's also done here is added in the transform information. So we can now it's pointing automatically for us to acro read.mst. What's really cool here though is I could just go ahead and run a similar command as we did earlier. So I could go back to the command prompt. You know, we can come back to here, do setup.exe dash all, you know, so on and so forth, do all the logging. So we could do that way around. But because we started to add more information to the setup.ini file, I could actually add all this MSI information to our command line here. So what I'm going to do here then to make this an example is I'm going to go and grab my installation information. And at the end of this, so we're doing our S all, our reboot suppress. And now we're going to do our forward slash MSI and all of our logging information. Alrighty, so I'm going to save this and I'm going to come out of here. And to prove that this all works beautifully, what I'm also going to do for us is I'm going to delete this log folder so that we can see that it truly is pulling this information from the setup.ini file. All right, so at this point, we're going to go back to our command prompt. And instead of needing a long, fancy string here, all we're going to do is just do setup.exe and hit enter. So I'm going to give that a second to install, and then we'll come back and have a look. And there we have it. So we have the Adobe Acrobat Reader DC installed. We now have our new log folder down here in log file. And again, I could come to the bottom of this, and then we can see that this has been successfully installed. And now if we go ahead and hit Start, and then we go to Acrobat Reader DC, let's take a look at our end user experience. And the first thing that you'll note here is that it didn't ask us for a EULA. There's no EULA asking here. So we know that that MST file is working. Again, we did get the welcome to Acrobat Reader DC. I'm fine with that you know, in case somebody wants to start a tour. But also on the top right hand side, where last time we were getting upselled by Adobe, we don't see that anymore. So that really does prove to us that all the information that we put in from our MST file to our setup.ini file is really being brought through as we do that silent installation. If you want to go learn how to then package this all up in Microsoft Intune and make sure it all works, go ahead and check out my video from before. And good luck out there deploying to your organization. See you next time.